So I saw a lot of people saying that this year is a failure uh, because we lost so bad in the wild card game yesterday. And when you really think about it, this year was not a failure at all. We went from a one and four team with little to no talent, uh, a lot of holes both on offense and defense. And we were able to get to the playoffs and finish 10 and six. And it's just the start of uh, something better, honestly, for the future. And you have to be uh, optimistic for the future. I saw a lot of people that weren't optimistic. Uh, there's guys with the resign. I don't think we'll end up resigning Andre Branch. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think that'll end up happening. Uh, but there's guys with the resign. Got to resign Kenny Stills. I believe Dion Jordan and Mario Williams are getting cut. So obviously things are gonna happen. But I think that the Dolphins have a very, very good chance um, to come back next year stronger. Um, they're gonna slot into 22 now in the draft, which doesn't put them in a horrible position uh, if you really look at their draft spot. So they're not in a horrible position at all in the draft at 22, especially with all the talent that's coming out uh, of this draft class. The free agency class is very, very talented. And they're going to have, I believe I saw someone say uh, almost up to $50 million in cap space. I mean, there's got to be something optimistic. Now, I don't say that we go out and hand out huge contracts to uh, people, but obviously there's some optimism, and you have to be optimistic. Why Why else would you not be optimistic about this Dolphins team? They had a very good year, started out 1-4, and four, and things weren't going our way, you know? It just They weren't going our way at all. But uh, now it's starting to click. We are starting to click as a team. A team and an organization and everything is getting better so I think that we need to go back to the drawing board in terms of we have to make sure that we find pieces that also work around like we need outside linebackers badly one name that I've been hearing a lot is Melvin Ingram uh, and that's if he leaves the Chargers so there's already one person we desperately need uh, outside linebackers unless we get a true inside man and move Kiko into the outside, which would probably be the best decision. Uh, most likely, we're going to have to get a new defensive coordinator, but uh, I heard that the guy that is supposed to replace Vance is supposed to be very good and really helps out more with the defensive planning than a lot of people think, which is very good, and, uh, and I, I really like that. And Apparently, DB coach might get replaced, uh, or the D-line coach, one of the two, might get replaced, and I believe some offensive line uh, coaches are going to get replaced as well. But, um... At the end of the day, this team exceeded expectations. Uh, I, well, okay. So if you've been following my channel since May, I uh, put up my Miami Dolphins season stats and predictions, and that blew up for whatever reason. I have no fucking clue. It was a very poorly done video. I had a shitty mic. It was just awful. But I ended up redoing it, I believe, like an hour or a couple hours before the uh, Seahawks game on September 11th and I said that we would go 10 and 6 originally I said 9 and 7 and then I said you know what fuck it I'm gonna say that we go 10 and 6 hey we finished 10 and 6 I did I okay my predictions were whack as fuck though because I thought that the Jaguars were gonna be good this year and that we'd end up playing the Jaguars in the fucking wild card but that didn't happen I ended up playing the fucking Steelers and they cooked our shit yesterday and a lot of people I, I said it in the video yesterday. I was like, listen, can we stop this? Matt Moore is better than Ryan Tannehill bullshit because he's not. <laughs> like, we need to stop it. We need to fucking stop saying that Matt Moore is better than Ryan Tannehill because he is not. He just isn't. Like, stop. <laughs> You're only hurting yourself with arguments. But, uh, I mean, we have a coach of the year candidate. All right, let's be real here. He is a coach of the year candidate. Not only do we have a coach of the year candidate, our quarterback is getting better, and once him and Gase, uh, him and uh, Ryan Tannehill and Gase finally clicked, everything started working from the run game to the pass game, play action, rolling out of the pocket, finding open men deep. His deep ball was getting better. His medium and short were also getting better. Uh, he was able to throw on the run more accurately, so everything was starting to click a little better, which is very, very good. Uh, and then that 
helped. It helped a lot uh, with them clicking. Our defensive line started to click. I know uh, Andre Branch started to get a little bit, I guess you could say, worse later off um, in the year. Unlike what Olivier Vernon did last year, which he was worse and then started to heat up. Um, Cam Wake's obviously a beast in Dominican Sue. I think that the defensive tackles are too inconsistent in Earl Mitchell and Jordan Phillips, but they also played well when needed. Um, our offensive line played well, even with some holes in the offensive line. So there's nothing to complain about there, especially with Pouncey being out. Albert's getting older. Bushrod played exceptionally well this year. I, I, I personally think so. So there's a lot, there's a lot to be happy about. I mean, we, we progressed a lot as a franchise, uh, Greer, Tannenbaum, Gase, and, uh, Ross are all on the same page. So that helps. They're all, they're all with one goal. They want to win. And that's what the best, that's what we want. We want an organization that wants to win. Uh, and Steven Ross even said yesterday that he's not satisfied. He's leaving that game disappointed and wanting more. And that's good. I mean, that's a first playoff berth under Ross. Not only that, but he said that he's not going to be satisfied until this team wins the Super Bowl. And, you know, he's got the right to. But I think he knows that he has the right combination of Tannenbaum, Greer, uh, and Gase. And I think that'll end up working out. But I am I think that, at least for the defensive coordinator-wise, uh, I think that Gase, I don't know if this uh, guy, I believe his name is Max, that's going to be the defensive coordinator, the new defensive coordinator, um... I was seeing some things from Armando Salguero that Gase should probably pick someone who's never going to be a coaching candidate because he'll have st stability there. Uh, but I think that that'll be fine considering the fact that everyone was saying that he's more a part of the process. So I have no worries there. But I'm just super excited for next year. Uh, March couldn't come any quicker. It's free agency, my birthday, my uh, three-year anniversary with my girlfriend. So everything just kind of goes on the same uh, month and clicks together and then we got the draft which i cannot wait for new mock draft coming out tomorrow uh but yeah so this has been a good year we can't complain dolphins fans we got a great year and we got to come back stronger next year i'm gonna have a mock draft out tomorrow uh it will be earlier than this i'm sorry that videos have been coming out so late i'll have a mock draft out tomorrow i will also have uh, a free agency preview out tomorrow and then I will also put on Thursday, not Wednesday, but Thursday, I will have my divisional round predictions. And then I'm going to try to get a Gators and a Dolphins on Saturday. No promises, uh, but I'm hopefully going to get one out soon. But uh, I'm yeah, I'm getting really hyped for the Gators one. I've already played uh, two weeks and it's a pretty good series. I might. Uh, restarted a little bit though because I think that I've been playing with 10 minute quarters and my games have been lasting for like two hours so I think that I'm gonna shorten the quarters down a little bit uh, and rework some things but yeah so hope you guys did very much enjoy this video I will see you guys tomorrow once again for the mock draft and free agency preview uh, this will be my third mock draft and first free agency preview and I'll try to do predictions of where I think they might land too that could be very interesting um but yeah, I hope you guys did very much enjoy. Like down below if you have not subscribed. Make sure to subscribe down below. Uh, we are growing at a very steady uh, pace, and I'm very, very happy for that. Very happy about that. Also, comment down below what you think about the Dolphins year if you're a Dolphin fan. And then if you're not a Dolphin fan, what do you think about your respective team's year? Hopefully, your team is still in the playoffs. And if not, hopefully, you guys have a high draft pick or you, yeah. So I hope you guys did very much enjoy. Remember to like down below and subscribe. And until next time, peace.